So welcome back to the Cloudy Desk. Today we will be doing a flip through of my traveler's notebooks. This is the main system that I use, so I just want to show you all sort of how I use each one, how they're distinct. Um, yeah, I've got the two standard and two passport size um, notebooks, and we're going to take a look from the oldest one in my collection to the one I most recently acquired. Um, so let's get started. The first traveler's notebook I ever got is this camel passport notebook. Um, I was actually using traveler's inserts long before I ever got a notebook. I think for about two years I was using the uh, weekly inserts as my work planner and I was just taking that like to and from work just loose in my bag um and then about two years ago when I got a new job I thought one of the ways I wanted to treat myself was to get the actual notebook to, and the cover to go with my inserts um it was a nice little treat to make myself feel a little more special starting a new job where <laughs> I hadn't started a new job in a while um so like I said this is camel it did start out really fuzzy but because I carry it around so much and I did condition it once. It has lost all that fuzziness and it is much more of a smooth cover now. You can sort of see in how reflected it is. It is really smooth um, and it's also super soft and um, yeah, it just feels great. I do have the, uh, I have the Holiday Bear charm on it. I got that this year. I had been admiring it for so long, ever since it first came out, really, and I had always wanted it, and when it finally came back um, on sale this year, I knew I had to get it, and since I love this charm so much, I wanted it on an insert that I use all the time, and so it's on my everyday carry. I also have, it's a little hard to see, um, I have a tiny acorn charm on the bookmark. I do like to have a charm on the bookmark because I feel like having that weight helps it uh, be a little more usable because it's easier to grab and it just holds it all together a little bit more. Um, and I just got that off of Etsy. I don't even remember where. I was searching for tiny acorn brass charms. Yes, so if you've watched my Tacho Kaigi, you know I'm no longer using this as my planner, but instead it is sort of my everyday, I have, right now I have three inserts in here, I usually have two, um, but I'll just show you. So, first here in the, I have one of those clear pockets, I do a tarot reading every month, and one of the cards is like a something I want to think about over the month and so I usually have that written in here so I can just be reminded I have the card and a couple keywords just something for me to think about um, for the, over a couple weeks and then this first insert is a Midori cream insert and it is my nature journal so I like to um, either stick in photos or I'll do drawings, but I like to sort of notice nature and sort of, I have a little challenge sort of every day if I'm outside to try to notice something new um, and so I can really keep track of like how things are changing as the seasons change and as time goes on. And so I like to either stick in a photo or draw a little picture. Um, I've been doing a lot of watercolor in here. It's been a lot of fun for me. And so then as I, I write in the date, I do my little observation, and it's been a really nice way for me to sort of track the seasons and uh, train myself to look for changes. Like, this is really funny to me. Um, at work, I found these mushroom, mushrooms on a Tuesday, and I wanted to draw them later in the week, but I, had, I had, didn't love the photo I had taken, because I often do take photos in the moment and then when I get home I'll draw them um, or something but I do want to do more drawing at the site but right now it's mostly things I see on my commute so I don't always have the time to sketch right there 
So this was on the 19th, and then two days later I went back to the mushrooms because I wanted to try to get a better photo, and they had, I think this was after um, a bit of a frost had happened, and they just sort of completely were already, even just two days later, starting to decompose, and I just, I thought that was really fascinating how much a difference two days could make, so I sort of put both of those in, um, but then also just sort of noticing the different textures and colors of things I see. So that's how I've been using this. My goal, like my big goal, is to do at least one observation a month, and I don't think that should be hard for me, but my sort of secondary goal is I'd like to do one a week, one entry a week, as I um, am going about my day. So I like to have this with me, because then if I have some time to spare, either on my lunch break, or if I'm getting coffee somewhere, or sometimes even on my commute, I can sort of start doing that. Next I have, this is undecorated because it is for, I haven't used it yet, but I have an accordion insert. I have this in there because my partner and I are about to go on a long weekend to Philly, and um, I think I want to use I'm going to be using this insert as a thing I carry around, and I think I want to document it on this um, accordion style. I sort of think I'll actually only use this front side for the weekend, although we'll see. Maybe I'll wind up using both, but maybe I'll use the front for this trip, and then I'll have the back available for a future trip we take together. Um, so that's in here now. I'll decorate the cover once I have a better sense of what's inside it. <laughs> and then I have here... I don't think, oh it is, um, so I have the dot grid travelers insert, I have a little decoration, I have one of those film pocket from the year's theme stuck in here, um, photo of my partner, my niece, and my parents' dog, my three favorite things in the world, <laughs> and this is my sort of everyday I call it my list notebook. It's where I can put things, my wish lists, places I want to go. I'm keeping track of sewing projects, books I want to read, things like that, books I have read. So just a general, anytime I want to list, write some things down, anytime I want, just need some paper, I have this with me. So I always have it, so I can always jot down if something comes to mind, if there's something I want to look up, if there's things I want to do. So I do go on, I try to do a monthly solo adventure every month where I spend one day or half a day, it doesn't have to be a full day, where I go around the city and just sort of go to museums on my own or a restaurant or a store or whatever. And I usually like to plan like a whole itinerary based on a neighborhood. And so I'll write down in here when I've decided where I'm going, all the things in the area, and I'll put the hours that they're open, things like that, so I can best plan my trip. Um, so that's really helpful, and it's just it's just nice to have somewhere where if someone tells me a book or a podcast that I should check out, I can write it down all in one place, and so they're all together. So when I'm like, oh, someone told me about something. Where did I write it? It's in here. <laughs> yeah, so that's all there. And so this, like I said, I've had a couple years now. So put that aside. The next notebook I got is the Traveler's Hotel um, limited edition cover. Um, I got it, I purchased it through eBay because I got it <laughs> at least a year after it was on sale. I'm not even sure when these were on sale, but I got it this year over the summer um, when I sort of thought I might want to start experimenting with standard to size inserts. Um, it's really fluctuated from how I originally used it to how I'm using it now, um, and some of those original uses are in one of my other covers, so I'm not even going to go into that too much, but right now this is my, like, journal. Um, I often carry it with me, um, especially if I'm like going out for the day or going to work because I do sometimes like to journal on my commute, but this is so I have something with me where I can like, if I need to process something, this is like my, I guess it's like my dear diary journal. Um, 
it's my thoughts and feelings rather than like a memory keeper or whatever. Um, I have, I think I've shown before, I have a old New York City subway token and a little rat charm. <laughs> Those my mom gave me years ago. They were two things on a necklace together. And I think it's, it's just funny. We're, I'm born and raised in New York City, um, but I don't really wear the necklace. So when I got this, well, I really liked the charms that it came with. I just thought it was like super matchy matchy to have like all the hotel stuff on one notebook. It just wasn't for me. I wanted it something a little more unique. And so it didn't look like every single one I see pictures of. So I'll put those on. And I actually really love that this is sort of what accompanies me most of the time when I'm out. Up here I have, I got those Baumkuchen mini charms. So this is the, let's see if I can get it focus. Well, not doing great on focus, but it's the, the mini clover. It came as a set of two. You'll see the other one. It's on another uh, notebook. And then I did keep the, the hotel key on the bookmark. Let's go inside. So I have, when I got the bear charm, I also got one of the to and fro uh, pocket inserts. Like everyone else, I sort of have <laughs> some washi samples in here. Um, these are ones from my collection, and then these are ones folks have gifted me, just to make sure I, I use them. Um, in the pocket itself, I have some date stickers. Um, I use these in my journal. They come blank and then I added my own little stickers. It's sort of like a make your own Himakuri thing and I just write the month at the top. So that's what I use for my journal entries and those all live here. And then again, if you watched my Tetrakaigi, you've probably seen a lot of this, but I'm using this dated monthly insert as my like goal tracking for the year. I made a list of 24 things I want to do in 2024, and there's a huge variety, like one is to carve a stamp, one is to make something for my niece, but then there's also things like go to an event at a bookstore and um, or try 10 new recipes over the course of the month, or not of course of the month, over the course of the year. And so while some of these are like one-off things I can do once, some of these are things that it's going to take me time. Like um, I have go on one adventure a month or can't quite find it, but I have like, oh yeah, maintain my nature journal at least one entry a month. So like some of these I can cross off as they happen, but some of them I need to track over time. So I thought it would be fun to have a special journal where I could have all these things together. Um, so this is my January so far, and you can see I've sort of taped in some things that relate to my goals, but also some other things that have come up. I have those things that are like ongoing um, goals listed here, like my adventure day, nature journal, etc. so I can tally when I've done them. And then, um, yeah, so like one of my goals is to go to a pen show, and so this is when I'll be at the Philly Pen Show this weekend. Um, again, hence the accordion insert. <laughs> and so like I have all that in and I think it'll be fun to sort of keep all those things here together and it's sort of a different type of small memory keeper. And then I have one of the writing boards and then this is my main journal insert. Um, it is the, it's from Debt Pens. It's not a traveler's company insert. It's their Kanzo Sashi A5 Slim Dot Grid cream paper. So it's the cream paper with the green cover. And I really love this insert. It's been working really well for me. Um, yeah, so I journal every day pretty much. And I, pr prior to this year, I never did really any sort of decoration in my journals. It was just straight up thoughts, but I've started, I sort of pre-decorate. I'll usually do like a spread at a time and it's been kind of fun to have and it makes it really 
enjoyable to flip through. Um, and as you can see, I, I stick in that date sticker whenever I journal, I write the month in, and then I'm good to go. Yeah, so I tend to write a page a day, although there's some days where I may not write as much, and then I'll maybe stick in some more washi or tape, but um, like the other day I did both of these pages all at once, so I like when it makes it a little more cohesive. Yeah, so I'm just, I have a stack of different inserts that I'm going to try once this one fills out. Um, I like trying the different off-brand Traveler's inserts. Um, I really like the ones that they provide, but I, I like the flexibility because I like the Tamoy. This one is a Tamoy River Paper Journal that is dot grid, and that's not something that they offer through Traveler's Company. The only Tamoy River one is like white and blank, and this is cream dot grid, so just trying some of the other papers that are available by using these um, off-brand inserts. And then I have the back of the zipper pocket thing, um, and I just keep in here a couple postcards um, and some stamps. I have a set of waterfall stamps in here, so that way if I'm somewhere and I have a moment and I want to, I can just write a quick little note to somebody. And then this is actually quite recent, so I'm still figuring it out, but I have purchased one of the sticker release inserts and I have it in a clear pocket, although I might get the larger clear pocket because this doesn't feel as securely tucked in as I know it can be with the bigger one. Um, again, I have another of those film pockets tucked in here so that way I can keep some other things that I might want to use. Uh, and I've just got a whole bunch of stickers. This is what I use in my journal, but I also use it if I'm sending letters or if I'm decorating one of my other notebooks. I have a bunch of stickers in here because I used to have them all tucked in here and it just, they were getting caught on one another. It was a problem. So it's nice to sort of have one spot where I can get them all. The one thing is, so the tabs do overhang the edge, which is nice because then you can very quickly flip to where you want to go. Um, but I have noticed, so my elastic band goes between the June and July and the July tab is getting a little bit bent. So something I'm keeping an eye on, but also sometimes I'll just, if I'm worried or if my bag is particularly full, I'll just pull out the zipper insert a little bit to help um, cushion that a bit. So it's not dragging as tightly because there's sort of more support there. Yeah, so that was my second insert, but my first standard. Um, and then once I got a second insert, things really spiraled because, like I said, I had this one for many years as my only one. The summer I got this one, and then between the summer and right now I got two more. <laughs> so my third cover that I got um, is this it is blue, and it's kind of picking up black, but it's one of the sort of very smooth blue Traveler's Company inserts. Um, I got this because I really wanted one of the Baumkuchen Truly Yours customized notebooks. And at the time, I only had these two, and I wanted it on a standard because there were some things I wanted, and I'll show you. And I just didn't want to part with the only standard insert or the only standard cover that I had at the time to do this. I didn't want to be left without my notebook. Um, so I ordered, and I had been really attracted to the blue covers, and I knew I wanted one eventually. So I decided to purchase a new cover from Baumkuchen and have them customize it all at once. And that also saved me on shipping something to them. Um, so I got the Ichigo Ichi uh, here now with you embossing on the front. Um, on the back, I got their one of their logo branded ones. I liked the idea of having that with the Traveler's Notebook um, embossing to have those together just as a like, this is both Traveler's Notebook and Baumkuchen. I don't know, made sense in my head. Um, I got the Traveler's Town. I got that when I got the bear, actually. I would have thought that they had been out of these at that point because that's the this year's special release. But 
I got that this December, fall, whenever. Um, and then I, I have a, uh, what's it called? Evil Eye Charm from Galen Leather on here. And the other acorn. It came in a set of two, so I have one acorn on here and the other one on my passport. And if we open this up, you can just take a quick look. I got two secretarial pockets in the brown, as well as a pen loop. Um, because the big thing was I was carrying this around and I hated not having a pen loop of any kind. I hated not having a pen loop of any kind with my notebook. And so I actually sort of envisioned that this would be the one that I take around with me, but currently it's the one that I leave at home. Um, for whatever reason, I think at some point I am going to switch these out. Um, but what I do like about having both of the this band and the pen loop on the same notebook is if I insert a nicer pen, I can also sort of put uh, the band over it and it just is a little more protection. It keeps it sort of close to the notebook so it's not flapping out. And then also just um, this way, if I do put it down or something, no part of the pen is just like hitting the surface if I'm out and about. So I do think I'll swap that around at some point, um, but I do enjoy it. I've also thought about, because you'll see, I do just see some like watercolor and stuff in one of my inserts that maybe I'll keep a um, document ink pen uh, clipped here. Cause I usually have two inked up. So maybe one will live here um, more of the time. So going inside, I have a couple stickers tucked in here, which actually I used to have my tarot journal in this insert, but I have since pulled that out and I use it on its own and that'll, I'll show that in a separate uh, video sometime. And so I had these here. These are some tarot sticker, tarot card stickers, but that doesn't make sense anymore. So I'm actually gonna pull those out now that I'm thinking about it. But, um, <laughs> The reason I thought I, this would be the one I would take with me is because I'd have all these pockets to tuck stuff in, but actually having the zipper pouch in this one means I don't really need that. So this is just, it's nice to have because as you'll see, this is sort of my scrapbook memory keeper journal. So having some place where I can keep things um, until I'm ready to use them. But this is the um, special traveler's notebook or the special, this is the special hotel insert that came with this cover. Um, it does have the Midori cream note uh, paper on the inside and then it has the the room service menu on the back. Is there anything? Yeah, a little thing there. And this is my adventure notebook. So like I said, I like to go on one adventure a month where, or at least one adventure a month where I'll try out different places. And this is the notebook I use to document those adventures and the different things I do in the city. Um, so I do really see this as like a, um, I live in New York City, and so that's I'm, it's me going around the city here. I see this as like specifically local stuff. So that's why I have something separate in here for my Philly trip. Um, that I don't see something I would put in here. This is my like, adventures at home and around home notebook. Um, so I have a bunch of different stuff in here. I do some tip bins, I do some drawing, I do print out some photos to stick in, sort of like a whole variety of things. I try not to have any rules, but just sort of like fun stuff that I want to explore and remember all in here. Um, What's really exciting was over Christmas, I passed the halfway mark. Um, then I started this in August, so that's like about six months is this chunk. So we'll see when I finish this one up. I really like it. I really like flipping back through it. Um, it's really fun for me to do after I've had like a day out, sort of thinking about what are the things I want to remember from the trip and going through all my stuff. And then in addition to that insert, this is um, a one of their, the Traveler's Company lightweight inserts. So this is their 
um, some Moira River paper insert, which, like I said before, is just white blank paper. And this one has had a, a variety of uses. So it started as just like a random doodly journal, um, sort of just drawing and maybe some writing, but not like thought feeling. Cause even when I was doing this, I had other journals. So this was, but then I really liked like some of these more naturey drawings that I had done. And so that's when I started, and again, this is like August, doing some like nature observations, but it wasn't just that. I was also doing some other stuff in here. It just, this was a very like sort of purposeless insert. Um, so when is this starting like October? I started to just only use this for nature things. Um, but then like, it was so big. I just, I, it wasn't something that I carried around with me. It wasn't something I felt like I could keep up, which is why I started the smaller passport nature insert. So that's sort of taken the place. Um, I am currently using the cream paper and I do think I want to switch once this is done to using one of these lightweight inserts. I like the white a little bit more with some of the watercolor. Um, but then I was like, well, I'm only barely into this insert. What am I going to use it for? If not the nature drawing, I don't want to double up on journaling because I was doing some sort of like data D entries. Um, but I'd been watching Simona's, she does these weekly journal pages. She does them in a dated weekly insert. I really liked that idea of some of the stuff that doesn't make it into my journal, some of the ephemera that doesn't go in to my adventure notebook or things that come with things that I get in the mail. Like, I don't really have a place for that. So this sort of became that, where now Sunday mornings, I usually have some time to myself. I just do a little, like, go through of the stuff that I've collected over the course of the week, and I make a little, make a little spread. There are some thoughts, like, I write some about some of the movies that we've watched or like activities that we did but that might not make it into like my daily journal entry and then also like some of the things just like other things that we did during the week that may be like we got our Christmas tree and I wrote about that but I didn't put photos of that in my journal so that's sort of what this is for and like we went to a show and so I have some thoughts about the show here. So we'll see. This isn't something that it, especially since this is undated, if I miss a week, I'm not like super bummed about it. Um, I have found it's more fun for me to do all at once than do it over the course of the week. That feels like more work. So I haven't started this week's, for example. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll keep it up. Maybe this will turn into something else. But right now it is a sort of, it is a insert that's had already many lives. <laughs> and then here in the back is where I've tucked some of the things that I want to go put into that weekly. So like, this is a donut place I went to. And this was some fun paper that I got in a piece of happy mail. So, and they kind of look nice together. So I thought I would do something for my insert this, my spread this week. I think I'll use these two things in there and stuff like that so I can use those pockets and so I got this this probably arrived end of September so again recap for those counting this is like 2021 2022-ish uh, yeah sometime in there this one is probably like July 2023. <laughs> this is September 2023. And then November, I think I got this on Black Friday because so this is the most recent insert I purchased, or not insert, the most recent cover I purchased is the olive um, passport size. I have been wanting this for a while, but couldn't really justify 
getting another one because at the time these three were more than sufficiently covering the needs that I had. Um, and so I decided until I could really have a use for an additional passport, I wasn't going to get one. Um, at the time, I sort of imagined that that use would be when I got a community garden plot, because I'm currently on the wait list for a vegetable plot. Um, um, so I'm on the wait list for a vegetable plot, and I sort of assumed that once I got a plot and I would need a notebook to sort of keep track of when I was planting what and what was happening in the garden, I wasn't going to get one. However, I came up with some uses for things I wanted to keep track of that didn't fit here, or I wanted it on a smaller scale, like I didn't need a full standard page, and it wasn't something I wanted to carry every day. Um, so I was able to use, I think I got this through Atlas Stationery using one of the affiliate codes over um, Black Friday when the codes were worth double, so I was able to get this discounted, and I thought, you know, I have some ideas for how I want to use it, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, I have the luggage tag that came with the hotel insert, as well as a little uh, <laughs> fake pair of scissors. Because again, this is sort of, this is one I keep at home, so it's some more creative -y stuff, so I thought that would be fun to have. And then I have the other of the, let's see if I can get it to focus, the other Bomb Kuchen mini charm. And this is the paper airplane. And I got this I got this set of charms because I wanted the mini paper airplane and the clover came with it, which is why it's just sort of dangling on there. Um, yeah, so inside I right now have two journals. One is this, I think this one is, yeah, this is a Goulet Pens Tamoy River paper insert, and it is a dot grid. Um, and this is my tea and donut reviews journal. So one of the things I like to do as I'm going on adventures is if I'm going to a new neighborhood, I like to see if there's a new donut place I haven't been to around there, and then I'll try it out. I'm also a really big tea drinker, and so I'm really like trying new teas, and there's a tea place by me that has like 70 teas on their menu. I'm not even exaggerating. I think it's like 68 teas on their menu. And so I'm trying to work my way through the menu, and I'm also trying to find different types of teas that I like when I go to other places. And so... This is just a spot for me to like write down what I've thought of certain things and how I felt about them. And um, sometimes I'll include part of a label or I did a tea tasting and I took photos of each of the teas. So I printed those out. Just things like that. Um, and so I can remember. And if I do de decide to go back to Bear Donuts, I can be like, oh yeah, I ordered these two donuts. Maybe I should try something different or... I really liked this one tea, I should get that again. So it's just a place for me to think about what I liked, um, things like that. I've decorated with a bunch of stickers because I like to collect sort of tea and treat themed stickers and stuff like that. So I have some pre-decorated pages. Once I get a little bit closer, I'll do another set of those. But it's been, this is like a, a very joyful <laughs> insert for me to do. And then in addition to that, I have another cream Midori insert, or cream Midori paper insert, um, and it is where I'm keeping track of the books I read in a year, because um, this is 64 pages typically in um, one insert, and I tend to read about 60 to 65 books in a year. So unless I do something freakish and read tons more, which I really don't think I can do, I thought this would be a fun way I could do sort of like a page per book. Um, so I just finished my first book of the year a couple days ago. I actually, I like, I have found I would rather draw more in some of these inserts than just print things out. So I'm going to draw the cover in, so I'm going to do that next. And I just wrote like title, how I read it, so as an audiobook. And then just some notes. And this isn't really like a review, because I don't want to do that. But just sort of like my thoughts, my impressions. Did someone recommend it to me? How did I find the book? Things like that. Because I find when people have asked me like, oh, what have you read this year? 
what was good, things like that. I like always have a blank. I'm like, what did I rem- write? write? <laughs> I'm always like, what did I read this year? And I usually keep, like I have in here an ongoing list of all the books I've read, but I can't always remember what I thought about them, especially when it's been like months later. And I don't really imagine I'll like go back and read this every time someone asks me, but I think the act of writing it will help me remember. Um, I think the act of writing it will help me remember because I find when I've written something down even once, it sort of sticks in my brain a little bit more. Hence, all of these notebooks. <laughs> so I have this in there. If I do ever get that garden plot, which, like, who even knows? It could be a couple years. Um, maybe I'll need to revisit this. But for now, I'm really enjoying both of those uses. And so these are my four TNs. I sort of think of them as, like, home and away journals. So like, these are both home journals. They stay at home, they very rarely leave the house, and if they do, it's for a very specific, or if they do, it's for a very specific reason. And these are my, they'll come with me journals. So like, when I go to Philly this weekend, I'm gonna bring both of these, this to carry around during the day, and this to journal with at the end of the day. Um, just things like that. Do I see myself getting another journal or another cover? Probably. Um, I'm definitely not at this pace. I don't want to have covers that I'm not using, so I'm really trying to wait till there's either something very special or if there's something um, that I know I need, I have a use for, like I need another journal to be X. Um, I would at some point, something I'm keeping an eye out for if they do, I would love a standard camel insert that has a debossed pattern as opposed to sort of the foil. Um, I haven't had this this long, but I'm noticing the foil is already peeling off, and that doesn't really bother me, um, but I don't know if I want another foil insert, so if I could get something with more of a, like, debossed pattern. Like, I love what they did with the diner cover, but I just don't think that's what I'm going to get. So if there's something that comes out in the future, that's something I'll think about. I think at some point I might want to do a customization on one of my passports. I don't really know what I would want. It's something I'm still thinking about. But, um, yeah. So this is what I use my traveler's notebooks for. I'd love to know, sort of, what do you use them for? Do you have, like, ones that you keep at home, ones you take with you? Are they... Do you sort of like switch up the covers all the time? Because I could see myself like at some point wanting this to be the cover I take with me during the day. So maybe I'll swap it with this one. Um, what is your thought process around all of that? I'd love to hear more. Drop it down in the comments. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you had a fun time, please hope you stick around and either subscribe or watch some other videos. But otherwise... Have a good one, and thank you so much. Bye.